Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. So I've been working on a project for the last couple of weeks and that's actually why I've been a little bit slow with content here on the channel. Usually when I slow down and you're not seeing as much video content from me, it's because I'm working on something. So a lot of people have been asking what I'm up to. So let me take you guys on a quick tour of exactly what I've been putting together. And that's a custom Botticera build using Botticera version 35, um, specifically for light gun gaming. So this is going to, for, for me anyways, I'm using a Sindin light gun. It's going to work with Sindin light guns. It's going to work with AE light guns. It's going to work with the Wii Remote if you want to go that route. Um, or you can kind of pick and choose, which is what I do. I switch off between different light guns for different um, collections that I'm diving into. And um, Sindin light guns work extremely well with Botticera version 35, but they're not truly plug and play, which is what everybody is T talking about and it's really being hyped up right now that they're plug and play that's a term that's very usually used when it comes to the send and light guns with Botticera version 35 they're plug and play in that you can plug them in and Botticera 35 recognizes that you've plugged in the send and light gun you don't have to customize the software or do anything with the software for send in um, however you do need to map your titles you do need to map um, collections, you need to go in and select certain emulators because only certain emulators work with the Sin and Light Gun. So, again, plug and play, loosely used term there, but um, the experience is good in the end, but not the quickest in terms of setting up all your titles to the point where you could jump into your title and be able to use your Sin and Light Gun um, effortlessly without any issues whatsoever. So, I've been going through title by title, it's a long process, testing everything out, making adjustments. Um, again, title by title, not collection by collection, because each game has different functions. You know, you can have within Classic Arcade, for example, a late 90s game like Area 51, which is very different than a mid 80s game like um, Duck Hunt. Very different games, even though they're both within the light gun, um, you know, genre of video games. So I'm going to take you guys on a quick tour here, show you guys around. And this build is going to work again with Sindin light guns, AE light guns, um, Wii Remote with the Mayflash Dolphin Bar, pretty much any light gun, um, modern day light gun, I should say, uh, sort of combination that you can think of. So I'm going to patch in the screen that I'm looking at, show you guys around what everything looks like currently. This is probably what it's going to look like in the end in terms of layout. I'm gonna add some more games, continue doing some settings adjustments, mappings, all that stuff. Cool thing about this build too is you can use this on a pretty basic PC or mini PC, install that into an arcade cabinet and you'd be able to actually set up a light gun specific arcade cabinet using this with a relatively inexpensive PC. Um, I think that's going to be a better option than going with like a Raspberry Pi, which has very, um, a lot of limitations in terms of what light gun games you can play and especially what light guns like what light gun games you could play well because not all titles play well on the raspberry pi or retro pi whatever you're using there raspberry pi is just very limited in terms of the um light gun gaming experience so i'm going to patch in the screen i'm looking at for you guys right now uh so it should be small in the corner the screen should be big and I'll take you guys on a quick little tour through here. Again, this is gonna you know, differ ever so slightly from the final version, but this is where I'm at currently. Uh, I've got over 400 titles on here for a bunch of different collections. Pretty much all your classic arcade light gun games will be in arcade classics here. You can see this awesome theme I've got going on here with the classic sort of cabinet there. The video previews jump into that. So let me jump into that arcade uh, classics collection for you everything's in alphabetical order every title is going to give you information down there in the bottom right corner inside the cabinet screen there you get a video preview um, we do have audio uh, which I'll turn up a little bit so you can hear it in the background we've also got logos um, and what else we've got you know some box art sort of logo there that fluctuates over on the left hand side but you can see how all these look. Let's look at Time Crisis. This is the original 1995 Time Crisis. Works perfect. I did a video actually a few days back uh, demoing this exact version with the Sindin Light Gun. 
perfect experience here. Um, let's go through triple hunt, uh, very classic light gun game. So we've got a little bit of everything. We got duck hunt here. Um, we've got Hogan's Alley right here. And let me loop back around. So this was one that I really had to have. Um, so much of my childhood was spent playing this game, the Area 51 Maximum Force combo arcade version. So with this one, it works perfect. You insert your coins and you can jump into either Area 51 or uh, Maximum Force. Love that. This is one that I'm working on. Uh, I wanted Carnival to work. The game loads up, but I'm not currently getting the shots um, populating on screen. So it's mapped perfect. The game seems to run perfect. It's just not recognizing the shots when I fire them. So I got to mess around with that, trying to get this one working. Um, that's the only one really in this collection that is not working properly right now. Uh, Crypt Killer, we got some deer hunting here, a couple hunting games. Um, what else? This is one I've been dying to play for the last few years. Grew up playing Judge Dredd, the arcade version. Um, they have it on PS1 as well. Love this one. Jurassic Park, Lethal. Here's Jurassic Park. Um, Lethal Enforcers 1 and 2. So many amazing titles here. All your operation ones. Um, what was another one I've been playing a whole lot on here? Um, oh. Police Trainer. This is a game I've been trying to get in the past on RetroPie using Raspberry Pi, and I got it working okay um, in some cases, and then it just, at one point or another in the gameplay experience, it goes sideways and just craps out. Um, you end up with like two sights on, on there. It's just awful experience. Not the case here on Botticera. Accuracy, perfect on here. Um, I actually played all the way through this game. My stepson's been playing it. He's 10 years old, getting kids these days into what we grew up on. Just is a uh, awful experience. You just can't get them into this stuff. But he was playing Police Trainer for like an hour. Um, just a timeless game. And with the Sindon light gun, perfect. Love the experience there. So let me not spend all the time on one collection. We got FB uh, Neo here. Atari 2600, that's pretty classic. Um, Commodore 64, that one I believe works with a mouse. It doesn't work with a Sindon light gun, I, I think. I have to double check that, but if we jump in here, same sort of deal, much more classic. Graphics are obviously uh, very different than what we saw previously. Uh, you're not gonna get a video preview for this collection, but you get this still shot there, NES. Some great light gun games in here. These work great. These are classics, timeless games. We've got the Duck Hunt version here. I've been playing that a lot. Uh, you can stretch the screen so you're not stuck with that 4-3 aspect ratio in this collection. Some collections you are, um, but lots of great titles here you can see. That's not really a light gun game, is it? That's an awesome game though. And I believe they're making Lethal Weapon 5. Um, so, still going through the game lists here, uh, I'll probably end up taking that out and you can see it doesn't have the um, light gun crosshairs on there. So I'm still, I haven't gone through this collection yet, but lots of great games within here. Let's back out. Super Nintendo, same deal. You can see how everything is laid out here. Yoshi Safari here. Just a lot of great titles. Continuing on, so I have put a bunch of Wii games on here. Wii has a ton of light gun games that are um, oftentimes overlooked. And with this particular collection, you can't use the Sin light gun. Um, at least I don't think. I haven't tried really, but usually Wii emulation is uh, better on original hardware. So for this collection, I go to mode 4 on my Mayflash Dolphin Bar. I use an original. Uh, Wii Remote, some games require you to use the Wii Remote with a uh, nunchuck and we can jump into so many titles. So in this specific collection, I forget how many titles I have as of right now and that number is going to uh, fluctuate. Does it tell me here? I don't think it does. Oh, 64 titles right now for Nintendo Wii. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's probably where I'm going to end up is the 64, but 
they're awesome titles. So like a game like this, 007 Quantum of Solace. This one used the nunchuck along with the Wii Remote. And you can get a gun casing controller where you put your Wii Remote in like this. And I actually, do I have my Wii Remote here? Here it is right here. Wii Remote goes in like that. And you have a great experience with one of these. If you need the um, nunchuck for some titles, like this particular one, you just plug it into the back there. And do I have that? Yeah, I do have that on hand here. So I'll demo that for you too. Just simply plugs into the back like this, and you end up with an experience that's like this. You navigate like side to side looking with this, shoot with this one, and it's a really, really great experience. So let me take you through this collection a little bit. This, um, see we have arcade shooting gallery which is kind of like a modern day sort of um, take on the classic old school shooting games um, what else we have we've got a bunch of Cabela's hunting games on here Call of Duty games you can see in the video preview how those work those you're gonna use the nunchuck I believe with the um, Wii remote chicken shoots a good one um, lots of great titles in here. We've got some House of the Dead in here. Um, two, three, and Overkill all in here. GoldenEye 007, awesome game. I actually haven't played this on Wii yet, um, but it's on my list to check out. We've also got Lynx uh, Crossbow Training on here. Awesome title if you haven't checked that out. If you're a Zelda fan, gotta check that out. Metroid Prime Trilogy, Men in Black, Alien Crisis, some Nerf games, Rango's a cool one, Reload's a cool one, um, the Remington games are awesome, all different style hunting games, there's a Duck Hunt one, there's um, you know different animals. This is one of my favorite games of all time, had no idea that it was launched on the Nintendo Wii, I used to play it on Xbox and PS2, I just tested this out the other day, here, um, it's awesome to use the nunchuck and the Wii Remote. Really smooth performance. Definitely a uh, gory, bloody um, game, foul language. Definitely not for kids, but awesome game. Target Terror, awesome game. You can see there, it's like a modern day uh, Lethal Enforcers. Love that game. We got The Godfather on here. The House of the Dead games. Um, what else? Western uh, Heroes Gunslingers. This is an awesome game. Wii Play has some light gun games in there. Wild West Shootout's a good one. Tons and tons of games we've got. This one is the uh, World War II Aces. Yeah, World War II Aces. Um, same sort of deal there. Kind of a light gun game, but it's a cool game, so I threw it in here. Um, all of these work perfect. Wii emulation on Botticera is just phenomenal. So let's back out of that. Um, this is a cool collection. I've been working on some of these. Um, the Mad Dog game here is really cool. Mad Dog um, Cree is a good one. They work really good. Um, Demolition Man, I don't think I have working as of right now. Looks cool, I've never played it. I hope to get that working. Corpse Killer I played, works great. Definitely really cool light gun games um, that were before my time. So a Thomas Wave has some great stuff. Let's jump in there if you like the extreme hunting games got those going in here clay challenge is really cool sports shooting usa really cool game here um i haven't checked out ranger mission yet but this one is really an awesome title you can see classic target shooting sort of game sega master system haven't done much in there yet but you can see a couple titles here oh rambo 3 is one of my favorites um and you can play that with the light gun as well. Um, pretty much any light gun. So let's back out. We've got Mega Drive here. Mega Drive works good. Um, Sega CD. I don't think I've done anything with that one yet. I'm still testing. So here we have um, Sega Model 2. I've tested out a couple of these, not all of them. You have to go in and custom map these. I'm going to take care of that though for you know this build. I just haven't tackled that yet. So still have a lot to do. Sega Saturn, great experience. You can use whatever light gun you want for these titles. And there's so many great ones. There's Crypt Killer, um, Corpse Killer up here. 
We have the Die Hard games. We have, what else? We have Virtual Cops, of course. Original House of the Dead. Lots of great stuff here. So let's take a look at Virtual Cop 2. See how that populates in here. Really awesome. Um, what else? Dreamcast has awesome games. Uh, I've tested out all of these, they work great. So we have Virtual Cop 2 in here, which is probably the better option if you're gonna play that than the previous one that we just checked out. Um, we've got these games, we've got House of the Dead 2, there's multiple versions, of course, for that one. Uh, Death Crimson 2, awesome game. And we have Naomi, which has some amazing titles that I totally forgot about. Um, this particular one here, Confidential Mission, is awesome. Uh, Death Crimson is cool. What was the other one I was playing a lot the other day? Oh, Maze of Kings. Really cool um, mummy game. So if you like like the mummy franchise movies, it's very much kind of has that vibe to it. Not connected to that, but... That's the uh, vibe that I think of. It's like Mummy meets like Gauntlet Legends, but in obviously light gun form. Really cool. Ninja Assault's awesome. Showing you guys just the quick little previews here. They don't do it these titles justice, but um, really good stuff. So let's back out. Uh, PlayStation has some awesome light gun games. We have the um, we have Judge Dredd, Lethal Enforcers. We've got Maximum Forces in here. All of those are also um, in arcade. But we've also got the gun shooting games, um, Resident Evil. Haven't checked that one out on here, but I remember that being a cool game. Point Blank games here. Um, but we also have some additional Time Crisis. We have Project Titan, works perfect on here. We also have the original Time Crisis on here, which we also have an arcade. So backing out, and then we have our all games list. So what did we miss? I think we missed Model 3. I'm working on mapping Model 3, it's a pain to map that, but um, I tested out Lost World Jurassic Park, which was one of my favorite games back then when it first came out. Works great. That one I think was one of the few that actually worked plug and play, like truly plug and play with the Sindon light gun, um, but um, I definitely have to make, I have to go in and do some sensitivity um, adjustments in there. but. It does work, so awesome game there. And that's pretty much everything. So we have the all games list here. Is it gonna tell me how many titles total are on here as of right now? Um, I don't think that it is. No, but I, I wanna say I have about 400 games. Um, 350, 400, somewhere around there. And I'm still adding and tweaking stuff. So not a final count by any means, but you can go through here and find all of your games regardless of what collection and you'll see at the end of the title there it says what collection it belongs to so really easy to navigate so um, that's pretty much the entire build here so that's what I've been working on still working on it hope to uh, finalize that but um, you know it's a process and I do get kind of sidetracked when I find a title that's really awesome I end up you know testing it out for an extended period of time so that's what I've been working on. That's what's kind of coming down the line here. And I'll be doing some video content, of course, working on this. I want to actually set up a arcade cabinet um, with Botticera. And I want to make it like a light gun cabinet. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that way. I might just do like a temporary setup just to show people how to do it. And how we could, you know, do that with Botticera and with a desktop PC. We don't have to go and spend an arm and a leg on a gaming PC or tracking down Raspberry Pis that are gonna give us um, you know, a fraction of the performance and game capabilities you know, than what we have here on a desktop PC um, with minimal specs. You, know, you don't need a super high-end PC. You can go with something fairly minimal um, and at a minimal price point. So um, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comment section what you think of what I've been putting together here. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section. You guys know the drill though. Smash the thumbs up button on this video. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your support. Hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next video.